you and I fight like an industry cat I steal your chain, I'm not giving it back I can't six nine with your bitch, she a rat I'm young Habib and I'm making the tap I'm like an airline, I'm flat, that's a fact I What's up guys, it is I, the UFC casual And I just wanted to quickly talk about the fight that went down at UFC 281 With Dan Hooker and Claudio Puelles, alright so I'm a big fan of Dan the Hangman Hooker. The Hangman Hooker, as most of you guys probably know, he's taken a few losses recently, maybe his last four or five fights, all against pretty tough opponents. But the man was on a losing streak and he finally found that win against Claudio Puelles. But what I just wanted to say is how horrible, horrible Claudio Puelles is, right? So Puelles spent the entire time trying to throw an Imanari roll. And me being the casual that I am, I didn't exactly know what an Imanari roll even was. I just heard Eddie Bravo talking about it when he kept telling Tony Ferguson to throw them in that failed fight. So my mate, who's a bigger fan of the UFC, he kindly paused the stream during the uh, break. I think they went to round two during the break and he showed me on YouTube what the Imanari was. And it's really cool. But this guy just spent the entire time, this was Claudio Puelles' his entire time. Just falling on the ground intentionally about 10 times until eventually Dan Hooker had eaten away at his legs and body with vicious kicks to where he just fell because because he was so hurt. But it looked like what he was doing intentionally the whole time of falling from an Imanari role. So, I just personally, all I have to say about this one is Claudio Puelles is by far the worst fighter I have ever seen. Crazy that he made it to the UFC. I really need to watch some of his other fights because, I mean, he has to have been better in those. He's got, I believe, 13 wins, and this is now his third loss, but I don't know what your boy was thinking out there. Like, he looked fucking nuts. Uh, I've never found myself actually laughing at a fighter before because I have so much respect for all of them. Like I could not do what they do. Incredible athletes, you know what I mean? But um, I laughed at this guy. I pissed myself. Like it was a joke, a complete joke. The entire time falling over, maybe three strikes, just falling over, about 10 times falling over on his back again and again. And it kind of made me sad in a way because Dan Hooker finally got his win, but... What kind of a win is that, you know? That's almost as bad as you you're, you check your opponent's kick and their leg instantly breaks like we've seen a couple of times. It's like, it's pretty much the same as that. It's like complete tomato can. So hopefully Dan Hooker can go on and fight some proper comp and actually get a win the next time because I don't know where they found this guy Claudio, but he is not it. What an absolute joke. Uh, I would personally like to fight him. I think I could win. I have shit hands, I can't kick, no grappling, and a bad back. Uh, but I still think I could win. He is fucking trash. What the hell is wrong with Claudio Puello? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'm going to start doing live soon. I'm just doing the first couple ones, like pre-recorded, you know what I mean, so I can get my flow. But it is I, the UFC casual, signing out. Claudio Puello, man. What are we saying, bro? Like, what are we saying? Shout out to Dan Hooker. Big ups to New Zealand. I'm from Tasmania, so that's basically like the next best thing to New Zealand. So, big ups to the Kiwis.